Hey, I'm Edward P. Post Run Live, and look at this guy. You know him, Fantastic Four. I'm gonna come back later. We're at the uh, Henry Ford in Dearborn for the Marvel Universe Superheroes Exhibition. Did I get that title right? That's right. And it opens on Thursday, but we're giving you a preview today. This is the Midwest debut. Let me bring in make sure they have a Kate Marlin. Now this opens Thursday and this is truly the Midwest debut, right? This is the first time you've been anywhere in Michigan, anywhere within the vicinity of driving. Right, this is the first time anywhere in our region and we're so excited to have this open. Um, and we're, we're here to show you some really cool stuff. It's an exhibition that has uh, original art, it has comic books, it has uh, characters like the thing over there and costumes and props movies. Alright, let's take a look at some of those. First off, for instance, some of the some of the uh, original things you'll see, like this is the Fantastic Four comic number one, correct? Mm -hmm. This is original, this is the comic. Yeah, we have a couple of number ones for various series. We even have Marvel Comics number one, the very first Marvel comic. Oh my goodness. And we'll, we'll, we'll do that last. We'll look at the mar the very first Marvel comic last. What the heck, right? Yeah. Uh, so the, we're at Black Panther here. So a lot of this exhibit is uh, movie props, costumes, like these uh, Black Panther costumes, correct? Yep, these are actually worn by the actors in Black Panther, and now you can see Floyd, uh, Black Panther, and Shuri's outfits here. Um, this was, of course, award-winning costume design for yeah. Black Panther. Won an really Oscar, I think. The, yeah, you can get up to the details and see the intricate weaving, um, just with the details and, and the lines on the costumes. Amazing. And you can get your picture taken with Black Panther here. I imagine this will be popular, people will just be coming up to you and getting oh, pictures yeah. taken. So, there you go, very cool. Uh, and we're going to whip through this thing because there's a lot to it. There's hundreds of artifacts here, hundreds of props, original, everything. So, opens on Thursday at Henry Ford in Dearborn. Do you need reservations? How does that work? You do need timed tickets. Tickets are $10 and you can reserve them online. We have reduced capacity because of the pandemic. Um, so we've kept it at really manageable, safe levels, which means that you're going to be able to view this exhibit with only 37 other people in your half hour time slot, which is very low and it's a much more personalized experience. Yeah, that's awesome. And when she said $10, that's $10 for members and it's $35 for non-members, but it includes admission to the Henry Ford Museum. Correct. Which is awesome in itself. So an incredible fun. So Spider-Man. So this was worn by Tom Holland in the 2017 Spider-Man. Cool. Yeah, we have from several of the Spider-Man movies, even other generations, and we have the Green Goblin's mask from 2002 over here. I'm a fan of, of that segment of the Spider-Man, so I like it. It's really cool. Very cool. All right, making their way. Again, this opens on Thursday, folks. The Henry Ford and Dearborn making its Midwest day. Yeah, we have lots of great photographs. <laughs> um, so great for people who love the movies, maybe little kids, and all of us really, to be honest. Um, then we have some deeper dive content, uh, like original art. It's actually the pencil drawings that would have been inked over to create the comic books. Okay. So we're going to kind of skip a lot of things since it's a huge exhibit. We don't want to yep. show you everything. But we're going to just, just give you a little taste of it. So we have Hulk, and now this is the Iron Man suits of armor over there. These are all from the movies. I like how they're lit up. That's <laughs> awesome. Very cool. I hope everybody's enjoying this right now. And there you go. Awesome. Can we just stand here for a while? <laughs> so this is yeah. cool <laughs> When you come, be sure to go to this Become Iron Man experience. It's an interactive, but it doesn't require any touching. Totally touch-free interactive. Welcome to the Iron Man experience. Oh, come on. Raise your arms to the sky. Um, how long does this take? <laughs> <laughs> About two minutes. 
through January, right? Yeah, January 31st. We were able to extend, so that's our big news. Okay, yeah, because this was supposed to open months ago, but obviously COVID. <laughs> so we have Thor. So cool. I would look really good in that, but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's really Steve cool. And let's continue here. Um, boy, this is just amazing. So many artifacts and so many things to look at and learn. You could be here for hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing Captain America, even though Captain America was the first Avenger who came early, um, he's been a favorite for so long that now we have his cinematic um, entrance to the event. And we have two of his shields. There's one. So we'll say it's seen somewhere. Yep, Chris Evans used that in Endgame right there in 2019. And then here's another one. Yep. So this was worn by Chris Evans in uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. And that is the Winter Soldier costume from Endgame. So cool. I did. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Another photo opportunity. Yeah. We also got another, another big Hulk. Our largest photo op. So that's examples of the photos I guess you can do. I'm sure a lot of people will dress up and cosplay at this exhibit. You can totally do that and have a great time. Um, that is really cool. Oh my goodness. Did we? Well, we missed something. Let's just keep going. We missed a lot of things. There's a lot to look at. <laughs> To, it's easy to miss things because it's so chock full of so many characters. We're moving into the street level heroes section. So some of these are a little bit more recent, or um, maybe they are historic, but they've recently gotten more attention. Okay. So we're talking about uh, Luke Cage and Misty Knight in this section. Also, we have some really deep dive content because I'm sure some people are uh, real Marvel aficionados. This one's talking about understanding the comic form. We have one about the Marvel method um, and just some deeper content. Okay. Yeah, as like I say, you could spend hours in here just reading and getting uh, a lot of history, a lot of uh, education in here of Marvel. 80 years of Marvel. 80 years of Marvel is in this exhibit. Uh, it opens Thursday at the Henry Ford. This looks like something a little interactive. You can, yes, this is where you can vote for your favorite Marvel character, and it's been counting since the exhibit began when it was in Seattle uh, a while ago. So go ahead and vote. You can choose. Mine is Wolverine. Ooh. And then you can see how Wolverine did. Number seven, not bad. Okay. Wow, Ooh. that's a lot of votes. Yes. Up ahead. <laughs> Thor is six. Just Ooh. above the yeah. I don't know what number one is. But... Well, if you wait a minute, it'll show. Oh, okay. Do people ever come in and just like repeat, press, press? Yes. Press. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Repeatedly, Spider Man and Black Panther are up at the top. Okay. Hundreds of thousands of votes. Yeah. Millions, actually. All right. So as we continue through the Marvel exhibition, which. This is the first place that it is going to be at in the entire Midwest ever. Period. Yep. And it opens Thursday. So cool. Uh, this is Daredevil, Justice League, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, and Green Lantern. So again, we're kind of in the street level heroes section. 
introduction that these uh, people might not be as magical as some of the other characters, um, but we wanted to showcase really the breadth of the Marvel universe. Very cool. All right, we'll continue on here. Boy, this is a huge exhibit. It just keeps going and going. That was the sense that we wanted. And we especially wanted it to be immersive. This area that we're entering does the best job of that. So Dr. Strange. This is a Benedict Cumberbatch outfit. He wore it in the 2016 movie, Dr. Strange. Very cool. Look how intricate that I mean, just seeing the costumes up close just seems to... Right, like really, on the paint, you can see the detail. You know. Yeah, the costume design yeah. is just amazing. Okay. Now those are mirrors, but those are other people. No, <laughs> these are mirrors and projection. Uh, we have the Ancient Ones costume from the same movie. From the 2000s. Again, they have props to Where exactly is this place located? So we're at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn. It is a world-renowned museum. And if you've never been here, holy moly, you need to come check out this place. This is one of the most, it's like the Smithsonian for Michigan, it's just unbelievable. This is a national, international attraction, actually. This is huge. So Dearborn, Michigan, the Henry Ford. Henry Ford Museum of Innovation. Museum of American Innovation. Yeah, yeah the Henry Ford. It's great. Uh, so we have like this section, and this is the X-Men section. Uh, we do have some Wolverine in there. Yes. I'll come back and swing through that. Next section. <laughs> That's really cool. So, who do we have here? Here we have Miss Marvel. This is Kamala Khan. And we were really excited because we also um, have our own Marvel superhero um, for Dearborn. Yeah. This is Amulet. That's so awesome. He's relatively yeah. new. And he works with Miss Marvel. <laughs> That's awesome. Hmm. Dearborn's own Amulet. Very cool. <laughs> so these are uh, it tells you the whole history of Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and Miss Marvel, and just everything. Right? Yes. So you get the origins. You get a lot of education. And, and it crosses from comics to movies uh, and other media too. Inclusive of all. Yeah, so again, 80 years of Marvel, 80 years of Marvel at this exhibit the Henry Ford and Dearborn, which opens on Thursday through January 31st. This is uh, Brie Larson's costume, one of her costumes from Captain Marvel. Brie costume. Yeah, you gotta see these. When you guys come, you have to see these costumes up close. Just the detail of, of the costume design. It's really cool. Uh, and then you have some more. Here we have some. Uh, Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Maybe my favorite, but I voted for Wolverine. My favorite. <laughs> yeah. From Star Lord and Gamora, two of the most popular characters that at least I did there. Very cool. And those were worn, it says, yep, in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Groot. I am Groot. Yes, we have a group bust. Oh, this is cool. See some props. I didn't know there was glass there. It's so clean. Yeah. I just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so walking in from Guardians of the Galaxy. Everybody knows. By the way, get on the mixtape, you know. And then, yeah, there you go. Oh, my God. So cool. Those are actual props from the movie. Those are, yeah. those are not, it's like, reproductions. So... Um, all right, keep going. I don't know. This is never ending. Well, we're getting to the conclusion now. Oh. Kind of the, the outro. We do have a store at the end, um, so we're still setting up right now. Exit through the gift shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that just shows you as we walk. We're going to show you the first Marvel comic. 
because we're going to go to the beginning now at the top. We're going to we're going to go to the gift shop under construction. Yeah, you, you can know, see this, is a, this isn't open until Thursday. We can give you a little preview of this or open. So you can kind of see some. Of this is going to be an amazing gift shop and stuff. Mm -hmm. So tons of really cool merchandise, 80 years of Marvel, all in this one little book, state book, actually. <laughs> got a postcard book. Okay, I could be in here all day and not even set up. Let's take a look at the beginning of the exhibit with the first Marvel comic ever. And it's an original. Someone's asked no Thanos? Oh, well, we do have Thanos. Uh, we missed Thanos. How did we, we miss had, Thanos? We had a couple of... <laughs> Original art of Thanos, two pieces. Okay, so okay. there is some Thanos. We kind of breeze through. We don't want to give it all away. And if we didn't breeze through, we'd be here for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so last but not least, to begin, by the way, you'll watch a five minute video of the history of Marvel, which is pretty cool. I saw it. Gives you a nice overlook for people that just kind of a refresher for experts and kind of a 101 crash course for many people that don't know much about it, which is cool. So here we are, this is like the holy grail, I guess. Yeah. So here it is, Marvel Comics number one from 1939. And that's the Human Torch uh, fighting the Submariner. This Human Torch is an android, and it is not the same character as in the Fantastic Four, which is a little bit confusing. Same name, different person. Then we also have cool. a piece of original art, which um, means that it's the original pencil drawing and ink, because ink goes over the pencil, that was used to create the pages in a comic book. We have the last surviving one from Marvel Comics number one. Wow. So from 1939, yep, this is the only surviving original page from the very first Marvel comic art. Very cool. Well, listen, everybody, listen. Thank you for showing us. This is amazing. Um, to give you the information one last time, this is the Marvel Superhero, the Marvel Universe Superheroes Exhibition, opens at the Henry Ford in Dearborn on Thursday through January 31st. It is $10 for members and $35 for non-Henry Ford Museum members, but that includes admission to the amazing historical Henry Ford Museum, which I have shown you some of the things here so many times. It's an amazing museum. And There'll be limited people right. um, because of social distancing. Um, you guys are sanitizing the heck out of this place, but it's hands-free if you want it to be. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anything it's all, else? It's all mask on um, throughout any indoor location at the Henry Ford. And uh, we only have 38 tickets available for each half hour time slot. So it's pretty limited. Um, you can buy tickets. We're only open Thursday through Sunday currently, uh, but we have tickets available through early August. And you want to go to, what is it, henryford.org? Yeah, henryford.org. Henryford.org, get your tickets ahead of time and make sure you get your slots. Uh, again, Henry Ford's only open right now on Thursday through Sunday. Thursday through Sunday, so limited days at Henry Ford because of COVID, they just kind of reopened. So this is amazing, well thank you again. It's my pleasure. And I hope you guys enjoyed our look at the Marvel exhibition.